Rusing important files is the most stressing thing in the world. And it gets more intimidating when you don't have any backup on hard drives, USB drives or in the cloud. But for every problem there is a solution, and the solution is the proper recovery software. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris, a IT guy. So today I'm going to show you how to recover the deleted files on Windows 10 or Windows 11 by using the wonderful recovery software that is my favorite, which is now the Wonders Share Recovery. It. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Recovery it from Wonders Share is a recovery software that can be used to recover any kind of documents like images, like pictures, like videos, and other ones. It can be also be able to recover files from recycle bin, from hard drives, from flash drives, and SD cards. We are now going to go on the official website to grab a copy of the software so as to be able to use it. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open the browser of my favorite here. I'm using Chrome. You can use any browser of your favorite. There is no limitation to that. And go ahead on the search bar and type Wondershare recovery it like that. And there will be a lot of links on here, but you see the this link that is now somehow purple, which means that I visited this lately. So go ahead and click on this and it will direct you to the official website you can also check the description for the download link i will input that on there so you can access the link on from there and be able to acquire the setup from this official website and when you reach here you can see that there there is the availability of this software for mac and windows and there's no limitation to what you can do by using this software and again if you don't have like money you can try it for free like i said and you can be able only to recover at like 100 megabytes of data uh, when you are going to recover the data so without further ado let's go ahead and click on try it for free and i'm assuming that we are going to try it for free but for the full access i will try to input my license so as to unlock all the features and so as to show you on how to recover your deleted files once now the download is complete you can see that i have my setup in here i can go ahead and click on the setup to open it and i'm going to minimize my browser so as to have a clean workspace like this one and the setup will come like this one go on run and after this it will, will come you with this install wizard go ahead and press on install if you don't want to customize anything but there is there is also the option to customize but i like to leave the default so as to make it simple and neat so let's wait for the instruction to be done and we'll continue with other processes Alright, cool. And once now the installation is complete, I'm going to go ahead and click on start now so as to be able to start the software. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start now. And it will also bring this so as to request to buy, but I'm going to go ahead and close this and we are remaining only with the one that shared cover its logo here so let's wait it for opening and we'll continue for the processes once this is done all right and once now the software is opened you can see that there is a lot of things on here there is now the location for your hard drives and the other things there is now the question for the quick access if you want to access the recycle bin the desktop and the other folders there is also the system crash the computer on where you can see the a fix that you can do on your computer when it doesn't boot, when it has a, like blue screen of death or black screen of death, you can be able to resolve th those with this software. And also there is for the advanced video recovery, if you want to recover like heavy videos for HD, 4K and 8K videos, this is now the right tool to use. And as you can see that uh, there is there is this is now login button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and login so as to unlock all the features. And to do that, I'm going to click on login. And if you have license, you can do the same. And I'm going to log in by using my email. Let me go ahead and put it in real quick here. And after inputting my uh, email, I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and press next. And I will also have to provide my password. Let's wait. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert my password too, and click on login. And I will wait for the login to be successful. And we continue with other things. And this is now the login success. I'm going to go ahead and close this and as you are seeing now I have now this software as now a full version and what you're going to do after that is to choose the location on where the directed files were contained in this case you can choose any disk of yourself in this case let me try to scan my new volume D and to perform the scan real quick here and to retry to recover the directed files and so let's give it a go And now when the search results now appear, we can see that the scan completed, we have found like 15 files. 
and you can find more than this if you decently deleted them and i'm going to go ahead and press ok and when you try to take a closer look on these files you can check if there is a file that you want to recover for this uh, for example this is now a 576 megabytes you can go ahead and click on this one so to be able to recover it and after clicking on that you can go ahead and click on recover and it will ask you for the location on where the recovered file will, will be and i recommend you to choose another location other than the, the 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 location where the file was contained so i'm going to go ahead and choose my users i'm going to choose the directory and I'm going to choose desktop and after doing that I'm going to go ahead and click on recover and it will take like a seconds or minutes to finish according to the size of the file and after the recover is complete I will be able to see that it will open my files like automatically I'm going to go ahead and close this and minimize my software and when you try to access your files you can see that this file that I, pre I previously deleted will be recovered and it is now 576 megabytes I was able to do this because I was using the full version so we can go ahead and uh, try this software it is good as a final thought this is now the software that you can go and invest in if you have any problem about the lost files I recommend this to my friends when they lost the important data like images and videos and they appreciated it and this marked the end of this video I hope you guys you find this very useful and interesting let me know in the comment if you got any problem regarding this video or any other problem and if you did like it to go ahead and show it by pressing the like button and if you are coming on this channel for the first time make sure to subscribe and from now on till next time i will see you guys in the next one peace